<clears throat> hey ladies, I am excited. I thought I would hop on live here in Haystack's Crafty Corner. As you can see, I'm kind of almost, I'm really almost working still. But I noticed as I was hopping on that, oh my gosh, I forgot to do something. To, to show, I was like, okay, I'm going to show you all this prototype, and then I forgot to do something here. So I'm doing this. But I am excited, uh, you know, to hop on with this impromptu live. Um, let me, let me find comments. See if, um, see, you know, uh, if I can chat with somebody. If not, then y'all are always welcome, of course, to catch replays. Um, what well, Lynn is here. Hello, Lynn. Nice to see you. Did you see me working hard trying to get the... <laughs> try, uh, for, oh my gosh, I forgot to do that part. Well, what I'm doing is... Well, I'm, I, you may or may not know, Lynn. I'm doing... I'm working on a design team. Uh, hey, Joe. Uh, working on a design team project for Line.Arrow. Working with this amazing, gorgeous kit. Um, all these... Oh my gosh, these breathtaking pages. This is Antique Lace and Roses. Uh, these are this is like little snippets of things I have left of pages that I have uh, torn, and uh, there's a full sheet. But anyway, I am making a uh, clutch bag. Look at that! This is going to be a, a centerpiece. I'm going to leave that out of something I'm doing. But I'm making a clutch bag out of a paper sack, and it's going. This is going to be. That's how. That's how it kind of looks. This is your flap of your clutch bag. Uh, it's going to be... Now, I don't sew. Um, I, you know, I, I don't know how. <laughs> but my daughter is an excellent, excellent seamstress. And I'm going to do all of this. And then I'm going to take it to my daughter. And I'm going to get her to sew it for me. Uh, as you can see, this is not the prettiest thing. Uh, when you do this bag. And I'll show you all how I did this. Um, in just a sec. But, you know, I just wanted to show you, this is the clutch bag. Uh, I haven't made one of these before, so it's kind of a new new thing for me. But I think it's going to be really pretty. And then in it, I am using these, uh, a, a couple of junk mail envelopes with windows. And I'm going to take these envelopes. i got to find two that are exactly alike. Um, I think these two are. you got to have to find two that are same size, you know. Uh, yeah, they are. So, you take these two envelopes, and you fit one inside the other, like so. And I'll do another live on this one. But you put uh, the flaps inside each other here, and you glue that, you glue this little part down here, and then it creates uh, a, a journal, like a little, a little journal. And this journal is going to go inside the clutch bag. Hey, Stephanie. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I'm nervous now. <gasps> oh, my gosh. My stomach just hit the floor. Man, guys, I want to introduce y'all to Stephanie Davis if you don't know her. Lorna, nice to see you, baby. Oh, my God. This girl is a master, a pro at videos, a pro at lives. And now she's on this live. Oh, my God. Please help me. Jesus, take the wheel. Anyway... I'm making this. <laughs> oh Lord, I'm nervous. Okay, y'all, <laughs> y'all see my hands shaking right now. Um, y'all, uh, I'm making this clutch bag, and I'm gonna use um, the papers from the kit. The uh, oh yes, you are. Yes, you are. Um, uh, and I love. Oh, I love you so much, Stephanie. I love you all, but man, I'm gonna tell you, there is a special kind of love with this Stephanie Davis. She and I and Johnny Depp. Uh, oh my gosh. Anyway, uh, that's another story. But I'm going to de basically decoupage on this paper bag all of these gorgeous, gorgeous papers. And uh, when I, I'm going to glue them down with glue stick. And then I'm going to use Mod Podge that I may or may not put coffee on. That'll be another video. But I may put coffee in it to give it that kind of, um, you know, weathered look. Anyway, you're going to Mod Podge over all of it. And we're going to cover up this little ugly part. And we're going to cover this little section. We're going to cover this flap. And we're going to cover this. 
Uh, and then we're going to Mod Podge over the whole thing. And then I'm going to get my daughter to sew. Seventy, do you sew on your projects? Oh, hey, Tabitha. Um, another another reason to be nervous. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Anyway, um, I'm going to sew, or get my daughter to, to, not me, get my daughter to sew all the way around. And then sew around around um, the flat part, too. And won't that be pretty? That'll be, I, I think it's just going to turn out gorgeous. And uh, then this little journal thing, or this little uh, window envelope thing, uh, I'm going to make a journal out of this uh, junk envelope. And I think that'll be another video. We won't, we'll talk about that later. But right now, it's a clutch bag. We're in the clutch. Do you sew? I, I don't know how to sew a thing. Not a thing. Uh, I don't know what a bobbin is. Well, I know the word, but I don't know. I don't know. But my daughter can teach me. She's really, uh, really good with it. Tabitha knows how to sew, and I can just PM her, you know. But um, uh, but I that's what I want for Christmas. <clears throat> I've asked for a sewing machine for Christmas. So, uh, what you do, let's get back to our clutch bag. Uh, what you do is you open up your sack, like so. I'm going to try to get this all on the camera. You open up the clutch. You're going to open up the bag. Did I say clutch bag? You're going to open up the... See, I'm nervous. We're going to open that up. And we're going to push out your 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 sides here. And we're gonna push them out. It's not. It, this is the this is the worst part of doing this. But you gotta have to play with it. And you're going to push out the sides and form this this clutch part. And. Because, you know, Stephanie and Tabitha are on this probably oh my Lord help me. But I did it I did it right earlier, as you can see. So let's see if I can make this work. There we go. I got that side done. So let's get this side. And you gotta you just have to keep kind of pinching this little I don't know if the camera's not. You have to kind of pinch it. And make that little, make it do, the sack's not made to do this. So you kind of have to make it, make it behave. And I think I did it. Except it's all lopsided. And y'all can tell when I'm working because I, I quit talking. <laughs> oh my gosh. My other bag is prettier, so I'm, d I'm definitely going to stick with that one. But... That's that's how you do it. And then this is going to get folded up. Well, that gets folded up this way. This this little flap here gets folded up and glued, you know, or sewn. Glued or sewn down. And then this gets folded. This part here comes folded up. Uh, to, I guess right about there. And you, this, it's not the prettiest process right now, but that's okay because you're going to cover it with all of your, all of your, uh, your pretty papers, and you're going to either sew or you don't have to sew. I wasn't going to until until I thought, you know, hey, I'll get my daughter to sew it for me, you know. And then this gets come down here, and you'll ha you'll see where uh, this it'll you'll have to watch where you fold, and uh, where this. Uh, this top part comes down and then see this sack was already tore for some reason so this is definitely you know a not um, a, you know not the sack I would use um, but it was already like that when I took it out of the sack so I don't know you know sacks have a have a mind of their own uh, don't they you know, they're never one square they, they just they come out of the machine or however they're made in in their own little way but I like this this one better he so I'm coming back to this one. Already, I glued this part down as we were coming on. That was that. This is that flappy part. That's going to get glued. And then here is my clutch bag. And as you can see, the, the little corners here are meeting. We're good. And then I don't. I haven't decided if I'm going to do what my closure is going to be on my clutch bag yet. I think and now's a good time to, to decide that, you know. Um... If I do a ribbon closure, which I'm prone to do, because, you know, I got all this beautiful seam binding from somebody called Haystack Creations, and um, 
Guys, look at this. Look at my love. All my seam binding. Yes. God is so good. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Tabitha. But if I use the ribbon closure and have it attached here and coming out and, and tied in, in the bow, that, that that's a good way. Um, an eyelet, which I don't have an eyelet setter, so that's an out for me. But if you had an, a crocodile, you could... Um, you know what, Stephanie? You do have a clutch bag video. I already know that. I just, um, I just, I, I think it got lost, didn't it, babe? Do you still, did you make a new one? Yeah, her clutch bag was amazing. And then, and then I remember your clutch bag having accordion pockets. It was, it was breathtaking. It was one of my favorite videos you ever, ever did. Do you remember us talking about that? Anyway, let me, let me start, let me go ahead and start gluing down. And if I, and I'll, I'll think about my closure. Because I can always, let me think. How do I want to, do I want to worry about the, the, the closure now? What do y'all think? I don't know. It's, it's always a last minute situation for me. And then I'm like, oh my gosh, look what I did. Okay, I'm going to, I'm going to glue on the top here as I think. As I think. Oh man, the press is, I mean my, the, I'm going to, my brain's going to start burning. Um, anyway, I am trying to do, there's so many pretty papers, but I know I want to use this paper with the little girl and the doggy on this back side here. So, I'm going to set that one aside, and I'm going to look at the other papers and see, I like this one, and I may want to just put this down here, and I think I do, actually, or just that, yeah, this little piece here. Because doesn't it fit perfect there? Pretty much. But, you know, that fits good there. Let's look at here. Hey, Michelle. How are y'all doing? I'm doing a clutch bag. And out of a paper sack. And it's kind of, it's kind of fun. I showed at the beginning, you know, how I fiddled with that. And made the, made the clutch bag part. And... I like this. I like this little piece, this little section here. So let me get to ripping and tearing. Stephanie, you probably don't know, but I have a thing with this ruler. Me and this ruler. <laughs> I love my ruler a lot, a lot. I um, uh, this tear, this deckle edge tear ruler thing. Oh, me and this ruler. We are friends. So good friends. And I, I, if I can rip and tear with this thing all the time, that's what I do. Okay, I'm looking, and I'm gonna I'm gonna put glue down here in the center, and then I'll I'll fill in these this little section there. And uh, and like this isn't rocket science, so I'm not coming to you with some you know wowing video here, uh, but it is the clutch bag part was kind of cool, and um, but the rest of this is just gluing down papers, you know? And then when I get get this all glued down, I'm going to uh, decoupage on the Mod Podge. And I think I may make my own Mod Podge because I really think I want to use coffee. Because didn't you do that, Tabitha? You put coffee and glue... And uh, I liked, I think I want that weathered kind of effect. Effect. I want the bag to show. And and I think I'm going to go to inking. I could ink afterwards. You know, with like a, uh, you know, doing a rub effect. But I, I, don't, I don't think I want to do that. So let me just ink as I go. And I'm using gathered twigs. And I, uh, but I'm still thinking about that closure thing. I probably need to put down that seam binding on the back before I lay down my paper, don't I? Don't y'all think? What do y'all think? I bet I need to. Instead of waiting, oops. 
instead of waiting for the last minute and going, I don't have a closure. Oh my God. Tabitha, what do I do? <laughs> because that's what I do. Isn't it, Tabitha? I'm like, oh my gosh, what do I do? Look what I did. I glued the pocket down. I didn't put the closure down. She's my go-to. You know what? The glue stuff you've never heard of? Yeah, that that's Tabitha for you, man. She can come up with some ideas. Um, I've seen, like, Tim Holtz makes a, um, a medium, you know. But um, I, I spend so much money <laughs> on projects and stuff. It's like, good grief, Stacey, when are you going to stop? You know, uh, seriously. I mean, I just, I go on and on and on doing that. And, um, and at some point, I've got to start being, I think, being creative about, about using what I have and, and thinking up, you know, some new ways to do things. Yeah, for sure. So, I'm, um, yeah, I like this. I think I'm going to set this all down here. And then if I want to, because see how she does her papers? Oh my gosh, Stephanie, it's the prettiest kit. Oh, let me let me put the link to her kit. Uh, it's like a 28 or 29 page kit. Uh, guys, it's on sale uh, as it is. I noticed on her on her Etsy shop that she's got it on sale. And you use LDA Design Team 40 and you get another 40% off. I mean, she's almost given this kit away. And it is breathtaking. It is the prettiest kit, uh, but it's it's what uh, the design team is working with this month. So, how blessed is that? And uh, but it comes with oh tons of ephemera and tags and everything else. It's just it's it's gorgeous. She even has these chandeliers in in her ephemera. Oh my gosh, they're so pretty. All right. Hey, Cheryl Douglas, are you still in the hospital? Are you okay? Are you watching me from the hospital? I am making a clutch bag, my love, out of a paper sack. Now, Stephanie, I didn't see. I, did I miss your your comment? Did your clutch was that the clutch bag that you used that you made that had the accordion pockets in it? Do you remember that when, when that video um, got lost? We're just going to say. And that's all we're going to say. Yes, Michelle, I'm so glad you did. And you will not be disappointed. I mean, it is amazing. I'm going to set this, kind of set this off to the left. Yes, Stephanie Davis, you should make videos again. Guys, Man, she's she's good. She's talented. She's great. And you know what? I'm so I'm so glad you mentioned that. On Fridays in in our group in the Haystack <clears throat> Crafty Corner, uh, it is Friday. It's like it's almost like it reminds me of like open mic night. You know, when you could just go and it's open mic and you could go and be a comedian or whatever or sing or whatever. Well, here it's doing laps and. Um, uh, you know, get on there and, and show your thing, girl. Inspire everybody. Yes. Oh, Lord, I would, I, I man, that would just bless my heart more than you. I, I can't even tell you how, how blessed I would be. Not that you do things just to bless me, but, you know, hey, it could be a, it could be a bonus. Okay, there we go. And see, we're looking good already. Okay, what else we got? I love this page, but I've already cut off some of the parts I love the mostest. But, is this upside down? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. I don't want to cover up too much. But I've got these music pages over here. I might could interject some of my music pages over here. What do y'all think? That's not enough. Yeah. See? 
Yeah, that's a good idea. I'm going to do that. Hey, Patty. I'm glad you did found me. I'm glad you found me. I, um, I, I thought my daughter was going to ask me to babysit tonight, but, you know, the truth is, is I just kind of said, I love you, but no. Because i I got to get this project going, man. I have, um, and then other things have happened to slow me down. I thought I was going to get working on it yesterday, but, you know, that was, no, that didn't happen. All right, I am trying to decide where I want to tear my paper. Right here. I know, Tabitha, we we got to get going, girl. Man, I wish we all lived close together. How much fun would we have? My sister and I, we used to sit across the table and scrapbook. That was when a scrapbook, not, not junk journaling. And, um... Yeah, that's gonna love. Yeah, I like that. That's good. That's gonna be nice. That's a that's a good idea, Stacy. If I say so myself. And let me get my ground espresso. I'm gonna use both tonight. Well, you know, now that I, I did it, I, I think I'm gonna go back to gather twigs. <laughs> this is too dark. So that's fine. Let me come back and hit it with gathered twigs. See, I like that brown. But I like the edges. They look a little burnt, you know. So that's... That'll, that'll rock. That'll work. That'll rock it. And then that's going to go down there. That's going to be great. Hey, Marla. Yeah, but we would, man, we would we would go to conventions, my sister and I, uh, scrapbook conventions that we lived in outside of Dallas, and in Arlington they would have the American Great American Scrapbook Convention or something like that, and we'd go and spend a couple of thousand dollars, and I'm not kidding, I wish I was, but I'm not. Um, <laughs> we'd we'd uh, bring our little traveling circus with us. We'd have our little our little carts and everything else oh my gosh we had a good time if we could if we could do that again uh, oh my gosh all right i have this little sec this little piece here left so what if i what if tearing it and then what if i uh, it's kind of straight at the bottom but that's a, maybe i don't know the rest of it's deckled maybe i need to deckle that I'm not going to do it with my ruler. Can y'all believe that? But I only want the teensiest little bit tore off here. And then... But I'm trying to decal as I go. And then... Oh, it wants to hang on to me. And then... What if I did that all across there? I think that would look good. So, back to inking. Well, thank you. My daughter did my nails. It's Color Street. Oh, Tabitha, I have your I have your your stuff. I picked out I don't know five or six of of them. So you can give some to Cassie, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna mail them to you. I'll get them out in the mail tomorrow. You're gonna love what I got. I got a Christmas one, and I got a few others. My daughter and I uh, buy Color Street, or we have bought Color Street. We knew a lady that, um, I'm going to kiss this with a, a little bit of ground espresso. Give it a little little um, dark edge. Um, but we would buy Color Street, if you've ever heard of that. It's like those nail strip sticker things. And, um, man, we, we've got, I'm not kidding, boxes. I don't think she and I would have to purchase any any nails for I, I don't even know it, a long time, long time. We've got I've got every season. I've got Christmas. I got Halloween, except the Halloween ones I had left I didn't like. I, they were 
all white with a it looked like a ghost, you know, like and I was like, eh, I don't really like that one. So I didn't or I would have put them on. But my daughter did these, so I was I was quite pleased. I don't do them myself because I can't do my left hand or my right hand. So I get my daughter to do it. Okay. That's pretty good so far. And then I gotta fill in the top here. And, uh, it, but my daughter goes and has hers done. And then she'll, she'll, um, put some color street on, you know, like overlays or whatever on top. And I like this. This has the pops of green. And I may tear here. And look at my tickle edge. Hey, Carrie Medford, how are you, darling? Your mom used to sell Color Street? Yeah, well, I, she would have loved us. <laughs> oh, man, we bought a lot. I mean, I got boxes and boxes and boxes of it. Yeah, this green page is gorgeous. And then this page, oh my gosh, let me just show you. Uh, oh my gosh, it, this one has a mint green to it. Oh my god, it's breathtaking. Let me see. Look at this one. This one I already showed you. Look at that page. Oh my god. These are the journal pages. But where is that page I want to show you? This one. Look, 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 look. Oh my gosh. It's got like wallpaper and look at that green. In fact, I'm going to leave that out because I might use it. But it is a gorgeous, gorgeous kit. I am having the best time working with this. And we'll lay more of this down, and I'll tear this little piece off here. That'll work. And we're gonna, you know, and this, this process is just easy as you come. You know, the making that clutch bag part is the, you know, the, the fiddly part of it. And... Then, uh, but this part is, is, I, I like this. I find this so fun. You know, the, the collaging, um, that's my favorite. Favorite, favorite is to collage. Because there are no rules. I, I'm a big, oh man, I hate rules. That's how I've gotten in trouble all my life. I'm not a rule follower a lot of times. But the older I get, the more I realize... Uh, rules are there for a reason, Stacy. Now, so I try to, I try to, I try to behave, but sometimes I'm not so good at it. I want more green. So I'm taking a little piece of this green here, and let me fit this in. That'll work. And I'm just the the gathered twigs and then I'll come back and kiss it with the with especially on the overlay when I'm overlaying papers on top of of each other. Uh, I like personally this is just my, my jam. I, I like I like that little burny the burnt edge sort of look to it. 
myself. That's just my style. Cheryl, did you ever say, are you in the hospital or what's going on with you? Because I didn't hear or I didn't see. Y'all keep Cheryl Douglas in your prayers. Hey, Cheryl Anderson. How are you, my love? Y'all are just too fun hopping on here with me. Okay, see how this is looking so far? I, I, I don't know. I love it. I love it. And I think that is the cool thing about crafting and this little thing we do called uh, junk journaling. That's what matters. Okay, maybe I'm going to put some... Am I? Am I? No, I'm going to leave that music page alone. Ooh, my French book page. Mandy Batchelor gave me these French book pages. And I think I'll, I'll add something. Well, I mean, I don't know. Does it need it? Yes. Yes. Okay, I'm so glad you're good. I've been wondering about you. Linda Smith told me you were in the hospital, and I was like, what? What the happened? So, I'm going to tear off a smaller piece here. Just slap it on there with the old gum, with the old thumb method there. Oh, well, see, now that's pretty kind of cool. <laughs> yeah, actually, that's real cool. All right, come to this side, and we'll do the same mammer jammer. Because in this kit, there are a lot, see, that's perfect. Um, there are a lot of, uh, of the, the, the designer for this, uh, Natalie, is from the Netherlands. And she incorporates a lot of French text writing and whatnot in her designs. And she likes to use, you know, sweet little girls. And like in this one, there is uh, the little girl and the dogs. And it's got one with the little birdie. That's just precious. Oh my gosh, I like that. Now it's decision time because I am... Oh, i got to cover this. Cover this ugly part. And I like this piece, maybe, let me decal it, well hello Lori, how are you my love, I am so glad y'all hopped on with me, making this clutch bag for this design team thing, and I am, I'm really too excited about this, this, uh, what, how this project is going to turn out. Um, um, this junk mail envelope journal thing. I saw it somewhere. I wish I could tell you. It's not my idea. But, you know, you take what ideas are usually ours, you know. I mean, we all take it and um, make it ours, you know. Do something cool with it. All right. All right, that looks great. That's gonna work. Except this part didn't get deckled. See how meticulous I am. I want that little that little thing to do there. Okay, that'll work. And I have the messiest desk on the planet Earth. But it's okay. It's alright. I mean, you know. I, Stephanie, uh, I've seen her craft on the floor. I don't know how. I can't get up if I did that. But, um, uh, do you remember doing that, Stephanie? 
you get on the floor and just get going. I'm like, oh my gosh, my knees are hurting watching you. Good times. And then we're, um, I'm going to do this again. I should have done this on the very first one. I'll go back and see if I can do use like a Q-tip and do it, you know. Because I, I like this little, that little burny look to it. I think it's extra super cool. And then I'm going to, uh, this is what I, for those of you who kind of hopped on a little late, I um, used a paper bag, uh, formed it to make this little clutch style purse, uh, almost like a purse, and then uh, covering it with all these gorgeous papers. No, Cheryl, I can't sit on the floor either, dear. You are not alone. But I'm going to blame it on being 59, so you're not quite that old. So, But um, cover it with all these gorgeous papers. And then especially that little ugly part there, we're going to cover that so nobody knows. Nobody will see it. But, well, of course, I just showed you, so <laughs> just wipe it out of your mind. I'll get the MIB wand after you. Let me find some. Go back to this pinkish paper here. See all that French script she's got going on? And... We'll dickle this edge over here. And I think I'm going to, yeah. And then it would cover it up, and then I mod podge over it. And I'm going to use, I think I'll make, Lynn Gaskell uh, gave me a recipe for my own mod podge. And I think I'll do that, Lynn, if you're still on. And when I go to do the modgen, or the modgen and the podgen on this, uh, use that recipe you gave me, and... Put coffee instead of water. Put coffee in it because I saw Tabitha do that. And I want to be like Tabitha when I grow up. And uh, so I loved the effect, you know, that it gave. Because it gave it that weathered look without having to buy that, that expensive medium, you know, that's out there for us to... Um, to buy, you know, and I'm just, I'm just on a, I'm on a kick right now of, of not buying stuff, you know, but it's probably because it's the end of the month, and, and I've already spent my budget, <laughs> yeah, that's it, uh, otherwise, I'll be at the craft store, or on, on this, on the, on there, buying it up, girls, I don't know, I'm just, I'm not talking straight, I've already got a list going for, um, Sold by Michelle. I I want things from her. I saw a video today on uh, Tabitha's group here. Some lady named Barbara or something that's got all this lace and oh my gosh, I don't even know how long that video was. I think I sat there and watched it. You unboxed something. It must have been forty five minutes of unboxing or something. And she's not taking things out slow either. I mean, she's like whipping it out of this out of this box. But she bought this lace from this lady, and I I, I need that woman in my life. Uh, I got I gotta have her. Yeah, you got stuff in your cart too. Yeah, I'm addicted to soul, my Michelle. Admitting it's a first step, and then and then you're fine. Okay. And then we can move on from there. Okay. And since this is ugly here, I'm going to make sure and cover the whole thing. So, 
Well, I know. I, did I see your desk? Or was that... Was that I, don't, I don't remember seeing it. Okay. Y'all, see, I, I'm, I'm just blessed that this is all you can see. This one little section. <laughs> you know how you clean up before company comes over? Oh, my gosh. Please. No company here. Nobody's allowed. Not, not right now. Because I got this design team project. I got to get it out. So, that's the that's that's my most important little little thing right now. Everything else can just wait. And God, what a blessing, you know. Ugh, I I can't even tell you. What a complete blessing to have these little woes of life, right? Oh, I got a craft. Oh, woe is me. <laughs> yes, praise God. Life is so good. So good. So, well, you all to see my double dipping on my... Oh, my, yeah, and I'm telling you, this kit, you can't beat it. It's amazing. It's 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 probably my favorite favoriteest kit I've ever worked with so far. So far, it's my favoriteest. I did have a lot of fun last uh, earlier this month with um, the KPA kit. That that was a lot of fun. Um, I I made that pumpkin journal, and. Um, uh, I actually that that was a lot of fun. I had a fantabulous time doing that. All right. See, I put that on there and then I bend it so I know where I want to tear. I don't know. Do y'all do that? And then and then I bet Stephanie knows where that came from. I did that on the live one day. I said, okay, and where, where does and then come from? Nobody knew. I was like, oh my gosh. Nobody stole, nobody's seen dude who stole my car. That is a funny movie. Uh, yes, I remember it. But do you want to, you want to put it on the, on the, uh, three parts to one? Uh, in, am I right? Uh, is this a quiz? Uh, <laughs> three, three to one, right? Um, put it, put it here in the comments so the other ladies have it. Am I right? I'm waiting because I'm on a delay with these comments. I hope I pass the quiz, guys. I'd probably look back on our messenger and see. I went and bought school glue when it was on sale at, when school started. And I was like, man, I'm going to get this when it was a quarter. No, I didn't. I didn't pass. Is that what you're saying? Oh, she's talking about her desk. Praise God. But it's, is it, Glenn, is the, is it three parts glue, one part water? Am I right? On the recipe. All right. See, I like that. I like. I like it. I like it. And then I love this. Now it's decision time. I like this. And then I'm going to cover all of this with Mod Podge. And it's and well, I say Mod Podge. The 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 three parts glue, one part water, and the one part water is going to be coffee. The the water part of my of that mixture is going to be coffee, and um, that's. And then I'm going to get that brownish glue, and that's going to look at the same bonding. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, it, does, it on my on my laptop. It doesn't come through as pretty as as I'm looking at it. But look at it. Oh my gosh, it's all crinkled. It's all beautiful and perfect just as it is. And then I'm going to put this down. I'll glue it down here like so. 
and this will be the closure okay and that's that's what I'm gonna do I, I'm just no I've, I've been playing around with this and now I've, I've made a, a decision so let me let me put down some glue here I'm using art glitter and we'll put this seam binding down okay I gotta buy more pink now because I'm fixing to use a lot of it fixing to use a lot is that the center? let me look sorta of. close enough is it Yes, look what I did. It's centered. Hey, <laughs> I had to make sure. I'm so such an OCD person, I swear. Okay, so we're back to covering. Now this is going to, at one point or another, it's going to come across, and this will tie into a bow. And this will be, in fact, I'm going to tie it in a bow to get it out of my way. I won't use all this seam binding, so... I'll have extras, but now the good majority of my seam binding is G-O-N-E, so I need to order more tab. So, next, here I go, ordering more stuff, because I can't live without having pink in my life. Pink has to be in my life. All right, where did my page go with my little girl? Because I definitely want the little girl. Here she is. Uh, for shoes. Definitely want this little girl on this back side here. And, yeah. And I don't know how far I'm going to go. I think I'm going to stop at about right there. I think I'm going to stop at about right there and I'll cover the rest of this with something else. That's what I'm going to do. So, no more talking about it. And I'll use my ruler. Because me and my ruler, we got a thing going on. Here we are. Alright. And so that's going there like that. Three parts, one part, I passed the test. Good job, Stacey Neal. Yep. And I'm in when I when I do my mind lend, I'm gonna use instead of water, I'm gonna use coffee. And I'll get that brown, you know, kinda what you know, like a Tim Holtz medium stuff going on. And get that distressed kind of look to it and I'm thinking that's going to look pretty dang cool pretty cool because um, I, but not a lot you know not a, not like a you know a thick brown horrible you know not, not horrible but dark um, you know, tint to the glue, but just enough to give it that weathered, you know, sort of, sort of thing. And I saw another video where a lady used beeswax. Now, I don't even know where you get beeswax. I don't know. Maybe Hobby Lobby, Amazon, I guess. But anyway, she used beeswax on these sacks, and they looked like glassine bags. That is my next thing I got I gotta do that because they they almost had a um, a transparent the they're the same bag but they used um, uh, that what did, what did I just say beeswax on it oh my gosh I was like oh I'm impressed totally completely uh, obsessed and impressed now I'm I've never, I don't know, I guess my sister and I used to make candles a long time ago, and we, it was a beeswax blend, but I, 
I would assume that I can get it on Amazon or something. And then I guess you have to melt it. I don't know. They didn't show that process. She just showed how... Oh, you can? The, dis the, color, the distress colors and put it in there? That's a cool idea, too. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this glue thing. I mean, that, that um, coffee thing. And then I don't I don't like this, so I'm gonna I'm gonna be covering up my little my little pe with little little somethings there. So I'm gonna cover that. And let me let me go back to my little greens. Where my little green page go? There's this. I like maybe this. And then it's just, it's just a fun this collagen thing is I love I love it. I love collagen. Um maybe I do this. Cause then yeah, okay. I love when things all work out and you're like, oh okay, yeah, I meant to do that. that straight okay and then we're gonna cover that like that yeah that's gonna work right there real good and then okay. have you have you used a uh, color in your in your glue before Lynn you use those the refills for your inker pad things. You know that stuff that it looks comes in a little bottle. A lot of times they sell your ink pads with it, you know, and like a set on Amazon. Somebody sent me and they didn't put their name. And let me just go ahead and say thank you. If you're watching, please say so. Uh, they sent me liquid pearls today in a rose gold. I will be putting that in this project. Somewhere. If not more than somewhere. Maybe a couple of somewheres. I've never had the opportunity to play with liquid pearls, but I've always wanted it. And I guess somebody knew that, and they sent it to me. Oh, I was so excited when I opened that up today. I was like, look at that. Look at me go. I'm the proud owner of Liquid Pearls. Can't beat that. Hey, Linda. Did you go away and come back? Yeah. I'll, um... I don't. I don't have any of those those inks. You know, like those liquid ink things. So, uh, but I, I've been wanting to get them because I want to dye. Th you know, I want to. I want to. I want to dye things. I want to kill things. No, that's what it sounds like. But I, I want to, because um, Tabitha's uh, encouraged me to, because I'm on a cane. I don't know those of you who know, but I'm on a cane. I'm a little on the disabled side little immobile at times and it is it is more than difficult for me to um to coffee dye paper i mean man it wears me clean out oh my gosh and um honestly i uh, i have the hardest time with that but uh you know to spray it and then use your use your heat gun you know i did that and it goes this way. I did that, and uh, that that was that was really kind of. I don't know. Do I like that? I kind of do, but I think I want, might want some pink. I like these roses on this side over here, but I don't want all this empty space here. Okay, how do you use beeswax, Lynn? Do you have to melt it like you would? Um, I don't know. It, you have to melt it. 
because I'm interested in that beeswax stuff. It made the glass, it made the, the, the paper sacks look like a glassine bag. And that, I was like, oh my gosh, blown away. My mind was blown. And I, I thought to myself, I'm, I'm going to do that. But I got to, for you know, get the, get the, oh goodness, get the, um, the beeswax first and then figure out, let's figure out how in the heck to use it. <laughs> okay. All right, here's all those pretty roses down this edge here. And I want to use them. But I don't like this, all this empty space here. So, you know, I think I'm going to stick her down and I'll just put something in, in there. I'll, um, I'll, I'll just stick something on top of it. We'll, um, we'll make this work. And I have torn the wham out of this kit tonight. But that's fine, right? Yeah, I mean, like every color known to man, uh, Tim Holtz has. I just, somebody just sent me the peacock. I've been wanting that. Now, it's not something that I'm going to use in this, in this little, uh, um, project I'm doing here. But uh, I was so excited to get it because I have been wanting the peacock feathers for a long, long time. And then I got the Mermaid Lagoon or something like that. They have such funny names, you know. Um, but, yeah. And then I want that Citron that's almost, I used to call it Celery. <laughs> I, but I'm not even close. It's not celery, Stacy. It's not the name of it. Okay. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna cover this little section here with something because I don't I don't I don't like that little empty space. Well, I'm excited to try the coffee glue thing, and I'll I'll make it. I'll make my little mixture, and I'll hop on and. And show y'all, not tonight, but, you know, probably tomorrow. <laughs> and uh, show y'all how I'm going to finish off this bag. Alright, yeah. See, this is just too, too PC. So I, I need something right here that, that, that breaks it up. So what if I did... What if I did that? Let me ink her and see if I like it. Maybe I want to do a music page there. But I'm I'm really kind of proud of myself right now for thinking ahead uh, and and remembering this closure. <laughs> Normally I get to the end of the project and like, oh my gosh, I forgot a closure. And then I have to improvise and. But, you know, it's all right, because uh, nobody ever knew, So except for Tabitha. She knew, because I, I, I texted her going, crying, literally crying. I forgot my closure. I mean, she was like, okay, calm down. This looks like it goes this way. I don't know. Let me look at music. I might want to do... Music page here. Musics. Music. Music pages. Add lace. Good idea. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Because, you know, this kit is called Antique Lace and Roses. Okay. I Alright. I like this. And then I like your lace idea. I think I like your lace idea, my love. Let me pull out my lace real quick. I don't know. Have I been on here a long time? Y'all sick of me? I think I'll, I think I'll do... I, I really... I like that already. Yeah. Because that's about a collage. I like that whole kind of messy, you know... 
that whole messy effect to it. But let me let me pull out my lace. Let me look. Because thanks to a lot of a lot of good friends. Oh look at this piece. Alright. I don't know. It's gonna maybe stick out. I don't know. Alright, I'm probably gonna have to ponder this. But I, I have some fussy cuts. Let me look, see what time it is. 7 I think I've been on here a while. Um, you know, that, that. These are all fussy cuts from her kit. Um, I mean, you'll be cutting all day. There are a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. I really almost think I liked this first one. I, you know what? I think I like this. This. I really do. And let me ink this up. Because that makes all the difference in the world. And let me let me just see what uh what I got going on here. Okay. See now don't you like that? I do. I really do. Um I'm play with this some more. I don't know, I feel like that lace is out of place. Look at that round. It's a Dr. Zeus. I eat laces out of place. Alright. I'm, you know what? I'm going for it. Worst case scenario, I'll just cover it up. In fact, to side. I don't like it. Nothing's a mistake, right? I like it kissing the the book page a little bit. I mean the music thing. Music page. Yeah. I like that. And I may I may I may put that there. She has got the prettiest fussy cuts. Now, of course, you're going to be cutting. Cutting, cutting, cutting. But I enjoy fussy cutting a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. And she's got these cute, these pretty, pretty, pretty chandeliers. But I don't know. That's not working. It's not working for me. Here's a smaller. This is the same one, but smaller. I like the bigger one. I don't know. See, it's things like this. This is when it, it's like, okay, Stacy. You know, I just start moving it, and uh, uh, I get anal about this stuff, guys. I just, I really, I gotta be Elsa. Learn to let it go. Go with the flow. And then I like her fussy cuts a lot because I'm going to show you here when I get real close to it. She puts a, like a little border around her fussy cuts. Now you can cut those off, but I personally like them. That's, you know, I like that too. I'm going to do that too. I'm going to do that too. And then, you know, we'll come back. And I'll make that glue mixture with the coffee and and then seal this, seal it, you know. Okay. 
you know, I really like that music page on a uh, piece of music page on there. I like this back cover, the little back of the clutch, the little girl. Then here's my. This is you know kind of get the feel of what this is gonna look like. And um, you know, it's gonna be it's gonna be amazing. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, and then look look at the got our flap done. You can't even see that it's ugly anymore. And I might break this up with something. I don't know. But see, the page is already collaged. And then we're going to sew here, around the bottom, around this side here. And then this will be the open part, you know, that's the pocket that the, the journal will fit into. And I'm going to get my daughter to sew around the little edges here. And I might get her to sew a little, a little strip here. So, you know, it's sewn all the way around, around here. Okay, I have kept you all a long time. Thank you, Dawn. Uh, yeah, it's going to be, I, I think it's going to be great. I think it's going to turn out really good. And then I'll I'll, I'll walk you all through the whole thing. You know, I wanted to do this clutch bag part. And uh, I'll come back, seal the clutch bag part with, part with you. And then we'll make the, the journal together with the junk mail envelopes. And I've got a signature that I'm putting together. Uh, got a lot of thought going into that because it can't be... Can't it? Uh, there's no no room for gator mouth, you know. And I'm really prone to do that. There's no room for gator mouth in the, in this journal, um, because it, there's just not going to be a lot of a lot of playroom here. So, uh, yeah, you know, this is all right. This is this is okay. I'm I'm good with this. And we'll come back and we'll seal it uh, either tomorrow or a day after, but probably tomorrow. And uh, knowing me, it's probably going to be, who knows? <laughs> I don't know when. But I am so completely proud of of you guys. Oh, my gosh. Coming on. Stephanie Davis was here. Um, Y'all go get her autograph. Um, Lynn, my gosh, we talked for a long time today. And I, you bless me. You truly bless me. Cheryl, I, I hope you're feeling better, honey. I love you so. Tabitha, thank you. Thank you for letting us do this in your group. You are, you are you are the bomb. The bomb. I love you guys. I'll see you very soon. If you need me, you can always PM me. I'm, I'm here. I, I don't... I, my life is crafting. My crafting and you. <laughs> and uh, that's it. Uh, I got my grandkids, but that's it. Uh, what do you get? You're getting cheesecloth? Oh, my gosh. I don't... I, if, all you got to do is say, I just saw the word cheesecloth, and I'm there. <laughs> I'm, I'm there. Okay, I love you guys. I will see you soon. Very, very soon. Bye.